number 193 from the Indicator collection is Force 10 from Navarone and this is released in one of their snazzy limited edition sets that comes with a book, cards and two versions of the movie, the theatrical cut and the extended cut. Now there is not a great deal of difference between the runtime in these two movies but what is difference is a lot of editorial choices and a lot of differences within the way the movie's put together, the dialogue uh, and things like that. And interesting enough, featurette on this disc shows you a lot of the differences between the two movies and even that featurette is just 25 minutes of just showing you changes between these two cuts. Now Force 10 from Navarone is one of the most dad movies I have ever seen in my life. When I think back to uh, watching TV with my dad on Father's Day as he threw in a movie. This would be the kind of movie that he would throw on. It, it, it has that kind of familiarity. It's not a movie that that is a, like a five star. It's a middle of the road kind of movie. It has some fun moments, it's got some familiar characters and it has a, a kind of nice pace about it. And it's kind of almost a little bit inoffensive in the way it goes about its business. We get some flashbacks to the movie The Guns of Navarone with our characters. I swapped out because the same actors do not come back and we meet our two characters who are going to be flung into this movie. They are going to be paired up with a young colonel in the form of Harrison Ford who is on his mission of his own. We get the two uh, older guys who are going to assassinate somebody and we get the younger guy who's going to go and blow up uh, a bridge if he possibly can in Yugoslavia and they're kind of thrown in to this world and we have this mismatching group uh, of people who are set for this mission and some people who tag along through events that happen in the movie and what I like about this one more than anything was the characters that we were thrown into. I loved all the people and all the performances that we have here from Robert Shaw to Harrison Ford to Edward Fox, Franco Nero, Carl Weathers, Richard Keel. This movie has an abundance of fantastic actors and it just kind of plays out the way you expect. It never really offers much in the form of surprises. It never really offers anything spectacular to latch onto. What it does, what it has to do, effectively well and simply enough. But the key factor here was the characters. It was the interplay between them that I really liked. There are some action set pieces that are fun, uh, particularly the one between Carl Weathers and Richard Keel later on in the movie, which is a little bit of a Jaws joke later on in the film, you know, because Richard Keel was Jaws in, in some of the James Bond movies. You get uh, Edward Fox as an explosive expert who's always carrying this suitcase around with him uh, and has a fantastic moment at the end. We get uh, Harrison Ford and Robert Shaw who uh, in one just key moment of the movie were just fantastic. They're about to set an explosive. They don't have enough time to get out of the place and they just kind of set it and have a little chat about good job. You're a good man. I, I appreciate you now before that explosion happens um, which is was unexpected, I suppose. That was the one thing I, I, I wasn't expecting. It goes the way you expect it to go, just not quite in the same kind of quickness that I was expecting. And Force 10 from Navarone is a fairly simple movie. It's a, a group of men on a mission, but the mission's kind of fun. The men are kind of fun. It just feels a little bit drawn out, a little bit elongated, sometimes has a few too many characters than it really needed and a couple of set pieces that feel a little bit over long and a side plot that could have been truncated ever so much. Franco Nero in this one is terrific as, as this soldier who may or may not be the man that they are looking for who we fairly early on discover one thing about him and it takes the characters an eternity to catch up with us and it was that kind of subplot that felt that the movie dragged down ever so much but I enjoyed Force 10 from Navarone. It's not one that I'm going to rush back to check out but I most definitely will watch it again and I will tell you now 
I'm going to watch this with my dad because it's the kind of thing that he will just love and he's probably seen it before. But regardless, we're still going to watch it yet again. It's a great package by Indicator. The extras are phenomenal. I loved the, the this kind of making of that was filmed at the time with a lot of the actors. I loved behind the scenes footage of that. I loved audio interviews. I loved that featurette that showed the differences between the two movies and really how even though it's a short run time, there is a vast amount of differences and it seems like the extended cut is the way to go. It seems a little bit more uh, thought out in the way it's delivered in its information. I liked the movie. I didn't love it. I'd love to know your thoughts on Force 10 from Navarro. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.